Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hey, how's it going everyone? So good to be here. We're back with another reaction. We're going to be checking out Jeff Castellucci's cover for Man of Constant Sorrow. I really like that song. I've heard it from Humphrey. And <laughs> yes, that's the only like, version I know. Yeah, me too. It was so cool. It was really cool. I don't know how, like, because <laughs> I really liked the home, home free version. It was, it was kind awesome. of like a hip hop beatboxing and a cappella singing. So I don't know. But obviously, Jeff's voice is like really good. Yeah. I mean, let's see how he does it. Okay, let's go. In constant sorrow all through his day. I am a man. Wow. Constant sorrow. Well, I've seen trouble all my days. Mm. I bid farewell to old Kentucky, the place where I was born and raised. The place where he was born and raised. Yeah, wake up. Okay, cool. You know, he puts the music in his his yeah. tracks, which is cool. Yeah, four, six long years I've been in trouble. No pleasures here on earth I've found. <laughs> That's, you know, short drops in this to low voice. World, I'm bound to ramble. Ooh. I have no friends to help me now. He has no friends. I really like the soundtrack. Well, I never expect to see you again. I've been traveling down this road and how my soul is gone yeah. away. I can feel it like a bullet no matter where I tread. All my days I have been Ooh. running from these guns <laughs> within my head. Or you can bury me in some deep valley for many years where I'm laying there. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. I should mention that the train tracks I was walking down were not in use. So please, please, please don't go walking down any train tracks near you. <laughs> Trains are big and strong. Yeah. And you are soft and squishy. Special thanks to my Patreon community, but especially Haldra Draco, Christy Jones, Sarah O, Laura Mueller, Patricia Schumann, Debbie Goodling, Emily Zavst, Carl and Melanie Thomas, Osa M. Langenstahl, and Dorothy Brun. Thanks again. I'll see you all soon. I think he would do like a really good voiceover artist as well. Yeah. I've never really um, heard him like talking like he was here. I think I've heard. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. For me, it was like I didn't really hear before and it, it, it was so cool. Oh, 
God, this is just so different from um, the one at home freeze. But this, this is this is so so cool. I love the fact that I don't know he alone singing all those parts. It's like incredible. It's fascinating. I just don't know how he does it. And there were some parts where he he was actually singing on. I would say he was he was singing. Is it minor or or just parts? There was no. I don't know how to describe it. There was just something about that part where he 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 just sang. It was just too different. I can you know, usually when you're singing, you sing like with a soprano. Soprano kind of gives you like a normal regular voice that you know, defines a song, but he didn't sing with soprano. He was kind of singing with auto, bass, and um, tenor. So there was no soprano. It was just so beautiful. Kind of reminds me of um, how Diana could never sing um, Can't Help Falling In Love. It was a bit like on a minor, kind of, you know, in a way. Mm. This was spectacular. This was beautiful. He did it so well. The country way. It was like a little kind of hip hop but mainly a country. I felt like more country, you know, but this was really good. It was good with that bass, it's like killing. It was definitely a different feel than Home Free. I like that he, in his projects, I think every single project from him, I really, really liked. I like the fact that it's different than Home Free version hmm. because I really liked the Home Free version and I didn't want it to be like a copy of it, if you know what I mean. And it wasn't, which is like, ah, I love the soundtrack it was really really cool another song song sounded different for me most amazing parts are any time where he's singing and suddenly drops the voice like to the lowest and then comes back up just i I found those parts of the song crazy amazing i mean i don't think i've really seen anyone else doing something like that you know where you're singing singing suddenly drops the voice and then like comes back to like normal. It's really cool. I mean, you know, he, he's got the cool vibe. Really like cool vibe. One funny thing I realized is that scene when you had, where you had four of them uh, leaning against the fence, each one of them was wearing that um, digital, like an Apple watch or one of those. I don't know if you noticed. For me, it was like, a, I wouldn't say distraction, but out of... Um, place because the the whole song seems like uh you know kind of western and you know just seeing the watch it, it reminds me like those movie scenes i don't know if it was gladiator or like one of those kind of movies where people on the third plan mm. wearing like a, a watch or a glasses or something that like you know from modern times and it's like once you see it you cannot unsee it <laughs> so yeah that was kind of one thing that I found interesting about the video, I don't know if it was on purpose or, or not, but um, I, I love the song. From the first time I heard Home Free, you know what I mean? I just like the song. And it's a um, very cool cover from Jeff. Yeah. Like anything he does, I always enjoy. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, and he does it so well, so well, perfectly. Well, guys, thank you all so much for hanging and checking out this with us. We'll see you all in the next video from us. It's bye. See you later.